Chrome OS 87 is out and available for pretty much all Chromebook users. And we've done a video already about some of the notable features that came along with this update. We'll link that in the description. But there's some awesome features that also came along in Chrome OS 87 that are just hidden behind feature flags. So we wanna show you three of the best of those features that you can enable right now and start using. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do, keeping your browsing safe and secure whether you're at home or out and about on the go. If you'd like to learn more about their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN and you can learn more and get started today. So first, a quick note about Chrome flags. In order to see them, if you just open a Chrome window and type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. You're gonna be taken to the page and it says these are experiments and warning, you know, there's these could mess things up. These are testing features. So these are features that are pretty close to rolling out or they're in testing mode and they're here for you to flip on and off if you'd like. So do know that if you mess around with flags, sometimes you're gonna get, you know, reboots of Chrome and things are gonna crash. And so you just need to go in and turn off those flags. If it continues to crash Chrome, it will automatically turn that flag off for you. So you don't have to really worry that it's gonna completely demolish everything, but do go in here with a little bit of warning. Now that we have that out of the way, Let's turn on the three different flags we're gonna be talking about today. So the first one is holding space. You're gonna just type holding space up here. I'm just gonna type holding. And you see quick access to screenshots, downloads, and files. And it does say test on here. Again, this is not quite ready for rollout, but it feels like it's really close. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. Immediately, you're gonna see a pop up here to restart. You don't have to restart yet if you're gonna do a few of them. So let's do the next one we're gonna do, which is global media controls. So I'm gonna type global and you'll see them right here, global media controls for Chrome OS. I'm gonna enable that one as well. I don't care for this modern UI. Uh, it just changes the way that your music looks and stuff like that. I, I don't like it. You can flip that one on too if you wanna try it out and see, see what you think about it. And the final flag we're gonna turn on is tab search. So I'm gonna search for tab search. And you see it right here, enable tab search. I'm gonna turn that one on as well. Uh, and this is a feature that they are saying is going to roll out sometime with 87. We're not really sure when that's gonna happen, but this one is so close to being ready, but it's still behind a flag for now until they're ready to roll it out. So once you've got the flags that you wanna try out already and turned on, you just go down here and hit this restart button. You're gonna go black screen for just a second, and then Chrome is gonna come back. Do note that when you do this, when you go through this process, if you've got a bunch of tabs open and a bunch of stuff running, it's gonna kill all those things. Uh, a lot of times it'll come back up and say, hey, Chrome quit unexpectedly, would you like to restart? You can hit that and restore everything that you had, uh, but that's not always gonna work. So make sure if you're if you're messing around with flags, you know, close out the stuff you need to close out before you go flipping uh, things on and things off and restarting Chrome and just hoping that things are gonna come back the way they should. So let's start with tab search. And this does exactly what you think it does by the title of it. And we've talked about it quite a bit on the website. There have been videos done about it. It's been in the works for quite some time, but I'll show you really quickly. We'll go to Chrome Unboxed here. We'll go to say Engadget, oops, Engadget there. Um, and we'll say The Verge here. And we'll do YouTube. And then I'm just gonna open up a ton more tabs because here's what tab search is for. It's not for people like me that only have like a few tabs open. It's for people that end up having tabs that look like this at the top. Now imagine all these little icons up here and it's, it can just be overwhelming to know what you're looking at. Well, tab search, you hit this down arrow here and now it's gonna show me all the tabs. Obviously they all look like new tabs because that's mostly what I have open. But the minute I start typing YouTube, boom, there's my YouTube tab, go right to it, no big deal. Uh, same thing if I wanted, oh, where, where did I put the verge? Oh, there it is, boom, click that and we're here. So it's it's a simple uh, addition and for people that use tons and tons of tabs, I think it's gonna be another one of those helpful things that most people are just gonna get used to having at their disposal at all times. And again, it's really close to rolling out. Just flip this flag if you'd like to give it a try. All right, so we're gonna knock all those tabs out of there. Uh, because frankly, all those tabs just gives me a bit of anxiety. And we're gonna look at the global media controls now. Now, global media controls have been part of Chrome for Windows and Mac and Linux uh, for a couple versions now. So that just means you had a media player button up at the top and you kind of got this nice little media player. Well. Chrome OS and Chrome are way more tightly intertwined than Chrome and Windows or Chrome and Mac OS. So 
that being the case, they kind of had to rethink the way that they did global media controls on a Chromebook. And so now we're kind of seeing the finished product here. So I'm gonna go to YouTube real quick and just start one of our videos. Let me make sure I am muted. There we go. I'll start this latest video here. And as that video is playing, you now can go down to the media controls at the bottom. It has its own little section down here by your tray. Open it up and boom, you see your global media controls. And even if this is minimized in the background, you see that this is playing. You have some play, pause, forward, back. I can click this and expand uh, the media that I'm seeing. And so the same thing would work with YouTube Music or Spotify or something like that. But it takes it away from here, which is the most important part. So instead of stacking a media player on top of this already kind of cramped area, it gets it down there off of that in its own section. I love this change. I can't wait till this rolls out and stable and everybody just has access to this. Additionally, you can hit this pin button up here where it's going to unpin it from the taskbar, uh, but it's actually going to put it back into your your main system tray here. And you can see kind of this minimized version. If I click on it, I get a larger version that kind of just stays down here. Again, either one of these is better than it stacking up here with your notifications and getting in the way. But I will say I completely prefer uh, the ability to keep this thing out of your, uh, your main tray area, out of your notifications. It's in its own little spot down here at the bottom, and it just doesn't take up the valuable real estate you have here. Finally, we have the new holding space, which again is another icon that appears down here on the shelf. And if you click it, you get a couple things. So you have pinned items, and then you have your downloads, uh, a shortcut to your downloads folder, and then you have just your last couple items that you've dealt with. So say you download a, a picture from the internet or you've just uh, downloaded an attachment from an email, whatever. You just need access to that thing really quickly to go drag it or take it somewhere or do something with it. Well, the benefit here is this stuff uh, lives in that tray for just a little bit. And so I can open this up and since I can view uh, uh, PNGs, for instance, in Chrome, I can just drag this out, boom, and open it in Chrome. Uh, we've used it with Gravit, be able to drag a file out and just drag it into Gravit and start editing. Uh, it's nice to just have these quick access files. There's not a ton that build up here, so what you want to do is if I need to keep this file up between multiple applications, I can actually click this pin and boom, it goes up here in my pin section. And no matter how many new things I download that take the place of these items down here, I can make sure that that stays up here. And ultimately, if I lose track of where it is, I've got that shortcut, I can boom, hit this, open my downloads folder and find what it is that I was looking for. The other nice part about this is any of these items can be right clicked and you can actually copy them from here too. So it's not just about dragging stuff. You can go right to where it's, its location in the folder. And again, you can unpin it or pin it from this nice little pop-up menu. But that's about all we're gonna cover today. These are just three really big feature additions that are technically in Chrome OS 87 that we wanted to show you, hey, just flipping a flag and boom, you can actually start using these things today. Some of them are gonna show up down the road just with an update, and some of them will probably be held off until Chrome OS 88, honestly. But it's really cool that these feature flags are here and that if you wanna get used to using these new things that are just gonna be a part of Chrome OS in the future, you can go ahead and get started doing it today. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, go down there and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos like this. And while you're down there, give us a thumbs up. Till next time, we'll see you.